Crowley was asking that this week. Would his team be able to match the intensity required for a Big East battle? Remember, this team has, hasn't played a game since December 3rd, and Zagorowski takes it in for two. But Zagorowski uh, maneuvering at a pace where he's under control on are very sound on their ball hawking, ball pressure. Jackson, no. Ballock, good cut to the corner. Damian Jefferson's driving basket to tie things up at 66 and force overtime. UConn with just two points of the extra frame. Cole with the twisting attempt. Rebound down to Zagorowski. And Cole must foul. Good defense there by Creighton. Justin Moore. Little stop and go. Over to Robinson Earl. That's a shot he normally makes. Yeah, I mean, Jeremiah Robinson Earl. And he went with that quick underhand scoop shot both times. Because if you don't, Obi is going to block into the fourth row. Aiken, who's been so great from long range. And here's Creighton. Down by nine. Ballock. Or getting that one to go down. That was luck, and he'll smile and acknowledge it. Dale, double team. Hit 49 to play. Seton Hall basketball, their lead by two. Got to get the ball to Mamu in the middle of the zone. Got to make a play. Reynolds instead from three. No good. And a foul. Looks to be on Mamu and Creighton with the basketball and a chance to tie it. Go to the You've got multiple guys sprinting the floor because they feel like they're going to be rewarded, Timmy B, because they're beating everybody down the floor. And the lead has ballooned to 10. And Carton really needs to get his motor going. High arching off the window, just off the mark. But more of that is what you'd like to see. Zagorowski, long rebound by Elliott. Both these teams bring four starters back from last year's, last season's starting lineups, and that's a real helpful element to have experience, especially in a year where there's been this jump stops, shot fakes, and ball reversal. Now you saw they had a 96-point effort against Marquette, and by the way, they did not roll over. Rojo's team just was outmanned. They only trailed by eight at the break that night. The season, he's got a pop to him when he's driving the ball to the basket tonight. Daniels can't get Lob to the rim element. You got shooter space in the floor, Tim. So you're reluctant to help and sink in on that roll. And Kalkbrenner at seven foot can go get it. To round into March shape a year ago. And you remember how well he was playing at the end before he hurt himself in that final regular season game at home, which cost him an appearance in the Big East tournament and would have likely cost him an NCAA trip at March 12th. There, they got cut to switch, but they survived because John can slide his feet. You know, with Kane sitting down, Marquette getting what it is from the likes of Perez really helps the Marquette cause here. Good defensive work in the interior that time. Two. The old and the new. UConn back in the Big East. Creighton, of course, one of the freshest teams. And a foul after the turnover. Just basic passing and catching. Now the Bison want to run. Nelson loses it off of his foot. Back to Notek for three. That's too strong. Offensive glass to Edie. Goes up strong. That's rejected. And Jay's playing tough around the rim all of a sudden after maybe not the start they wanted to defensively in the first half, I think. There's a chance. There's a chance one of these teams might get the 50. No question. You don't see that a lot in college basketball. Great defense by Zagorowski. All ball. Okay. Today. John, strong move inside, but he gets tied up underneath, and the arrow goes the other way. I thought John had a layup, but he spun yep. into the defense. Smart move by Zagorowski. AM, where she's at, so. That is dedication. That's dedication. Bishop down. Rejected by Obiago. Here come the Pirates with numbers. Three on two. Crazy idea on the pass, and Zagorowski with the steal. Now the other one. 
in the second half, that is. 14 points, six-point game. Plenty of time left. And Creighton sticking with this 2-3 zone. And a steal. Zagorowski trying to push, and he gets fouled from behind by Molson. Well, Zagorowski only had eight points in the first matchup. Was 0 for 7 from 3. I'm talking about the, the preseason player of the year. Getting it rolling. Uh, you can bet Carton is looking to make something happen here on the double team. There's a steal at the buzzer. Off of the heel. But the Blue Jays end with a flurry to close the first Allow half. Marquette to hang in there. You see the turnover margin. Got the two bigs in, though, where you're trying to pound it inside with John and Garcia. I think they'd like to get some help to stop those offensive rebounds for the Blue Jays. After the turnover, Ballock. Unselfish, Zagorowski. This was the third or fourth beauty of a drop-off he had where he sucks in and engages the post defense and finds his big man under the basket. Pull up by Alexander as any in the history of college basketball. They ran, about that for a minute. They ran into, by the way, your UCLA dynasty out there on your guys' way to a national Jim, championship. Yep, Jim Herrick, the head coach, was fortunate to be an assistant. You do that well, you don't want to change who you are. But against Creighton, several times so far early in this game, they've not been able to get back on defense. And Zagorowski's just a little bit cold, which is rare. He's really turned it up a notch, though, over the last 10 minutes or so of this contest. Bison going deep into the shot clock on almost every possession right now. And that's the freshman Scunberg. It's no good, and it's a shot clock violation against North Dakota State. And against the set defense, Zegarowski's going to try to probe in there. Big for Zegarowski's confidence to get one going early. Gillespie. Again, a long lead from Mitt Ballard. Sometimes great offense just meets. It, it gets the job done against de good defense. Absolutely. It's not like either one of these teams are playing poorly on the defensive end. The, the most unselfish basketball player in a blue jersey is number 24, Mitch Ballack. He's also the best shooter, but he can pass the basketball. That was a thing of beauty. It's led to Creighton's biggest lead of the game early on here. You suggest probably a three more than a four. That was a magnificent move. He can really handle the ball. And you, you start to get set for a handoff. Theo John kind of relaxed, thinking he's got the hedge of handoff. And then Bishop's able to hit the gas pedal and get past it. McKeelan taking steps. To Mahoney up top with 14 on the shot clock. And there's the steal. Alexander gets it done. Oh, did not travel since Brian O'Connell. Edie going down the lane, lost the basketball. And it's last touch by the Bison, and it goes back to Craig for no good. And here's Harden Hayes, and it's taken away, but then back into the hands of McKinney. Left side, that's Cook. And he left it short, and Zagorowski cut. It's a heck of a job by Robinson Earl, kind of an emergency switch on balance. No! Seen all doing a nice job on the glass tonight. They doubled up Creighton rebounding wise 18 to 9 in that first half, and that streak continues. His fourth. And so now a one and one situation for Mahoney. And he misses. So Seton Hall down by three. Ten seconds to play. Aikens in the game. He's got the rock. Need a three now. Need a three. Gotta have it. Reynolds with four seconds. Forces. No good. Rebound by Creighton with 1.8 to go and a chance to seal it. Bound to Zagorowski. Michael gets inside where he wants him. He's up for the big man again. How about the touch? Tough angle on the baseline to operate. Made it look easy. Mahoney with the answer. Well, that's what they do. They take your basket side on the next couple of possessions. Play inside out. Three from McKinney. No good, but the offensive rebound by Edie in the putback is good. Uh, he just went by Balk. He fooled him, got around him, got the offensive putback, and they're keeping him, keeping him in the game. And I like the shot. He can't go too long without getting a shot up. He's got to stay in rhythm. Jefferson in the corner. Yes. Gillespie 
Nielsen from downtown. 37-32. I should say Mike's uh, update is Monday rather than Sunday. Eliot comes to this up again. Zagorowski with another dime drop high in the air, flushed home by Bishop right on cue with the rebound. Ballot, quick trigger. Oh, he's got a quick trigger. Light quick scroll McGraw. He puts it down. 59-45. The red storm. Right back in it. Zagorowski. Flip shot. Wow. Nice shot going away. That was tough. Gets that one to go. But you mentioned it, Timmy. All five guys will post up, so Creighton's going to be put on an island frequently. Zagorowski with a quick answer. Mahoney pulls it down. Zigo, Tango, and this crowd of just under 2,000, 10 percent capacity call for more. And here comes Zagorowski from downtown. How about Marcus Zagorowski's start to this game? And you know this better than anyone. Yeah, they can have a poor shooting night or day from downtown. That's not going to stop them from shooting. No, that's <laughs> how they're built. That's what they're going to do, just like this. Yep. And right on cue, Zagorowski does what he always does. It. He told us today, Coach Mack. That... Rebound to Mitchell. Mitchell pushing and finding Balak in the corner. Makes the extra pass to Zagorowski, and that's in rhythm. It's a strong take by Cook, but... All for not, and here's Zagorowski in transition, and that is his game. Well, there were games last year where he didn't miss a shot in this building. There's a full court pressure by St. John's. Zagorowski. Balak. Pump fake. Zagorowski, three ball, straight on, count it. That possession was a clinic. That was a big one last night. Not their evening here at home. Under five to play. Zagorowski way outside and hits. 80 to 58. This four guard attack. They move the ball. They, every single guy on the floor can dribble, pass, and shoot. This is Christian Bishop, number 13. He's their big guy. He's an excellent screen and diver as Marcus Zagorowski drills that, that three-point shot. That's right, so a cool little story. Adam Zagoria wrote it today. Zagorowski from three. He's got it. Creighton won't go away just yet. So Zagorowski on the board here in this second half. Creighton with a chance to take the lead for the first time since the 11 and a half minute mark. Zagorowski for three. He's got it. Oh my. Zagorowski from deep and Creighton in front. John Quackerty, who was a part of perhaps the most influential block charge call ever. Ramil Robinson against Seton Hall back in 1989 at the Final Four in Seattle. Zagorowski. 54-41. They lead by a big goes to the second half, looming large for Marquette. Kalkbrenner sets the pick, and Zagorowski knew what to do with it. Well, you have to force Zagorowski into help. Still early in the game, but try and catch a rhythm by doing what you do best in the penetration. Wide open three ball. Jefferson's got it. Cancel at halftime. That was the last game, college game, of last season. And these two teams, that was at Madison Square Garden. Ballock for three, and he's on the board. The strides Creighton makes defensively this year. And they've already held UConn to two of 12 shooting from beyond the arc. Zagorowski, wide open, Bishop. How did that happen? Well, a nifty set by Creighton there. Let's Bishop. take a look at the Blue Jays in terms of playing in pairs or tandem. Zagorowski here 
Tries to turn the corner, draws three UConn defenders, and then delivers the dime inside to Bishop for the easy flush. And that's two-man pass, one-point lead. I don't think you need to launch a rocket. Get a touch, something towards the paint. Here's the man who sent us into overtime. Still don't need to launch a rocket. Zagorowski, lob. Bishop banks it off the window. Three-point lead for the visitors. Great 50 two. seconds to go. Great two-man game right there. That action. Coach Hurley going to get a timeout. But Zagorowski beats this well and just lifts it to the clouds. Go up a level from the Missouri Valley Conference to the Big East and have Creighton's level of play increase. Just really speaks volumes to it. Oh, how about that? High arching pass and Bishop with a slam to remember. And the big thing is it's Ballock. Gillespie can't sink in to help because Ballock's such a good shooter. See how Gillespie's hugging up in the arc? <laughs> and scramble get matched up. Marquette does. Trying to negate all opportunities to run your base and out of bounds play. That's what Steve Wojciechowski likes to do. Nice slip, Bishop. Off the seat from Zagorowski. And I know Mahoney probably felt like he was on him in the corner, but the hands came up too slow. Alec with a touch and drills it from deep. Boy, to get it down. There's Creighton. They get organized in early offense as well as any team in the country. If they don't get something in terms of the fast break, then they set up and try and move the ball and execute as they did. Jones, who was the story of the first half, Zagorowski leaves it underneath and Bishop finishes. Well, Zagorowski knows where everybody is on the court at all times. Here's Ballard. Needs a little help, Zagrowski there. Driving baseline, nice feed to Bishop in the finish. Outstanding win for UConn earlier today, you may have seen here on Fox. Helps them out, beating Xavier. Of course, he had them on the first four outline coming into the day. Ballock. Cut off. There's big old Obiabu. He can't, Obi, he can't miss him. 7 2. And that shot is good from the corner. A three. Post feed pass again from Shavar. Uh, he's really good at finding those creases. Zagorowski looking for a screen. Ballock from three. Another one! Mitch Ballock! <laughs> From deep, a three. Jefferson finds Zagorowski. Three ball. Line drive is good. Drive and kick. And that's where Creighton is so They've good. They've Sarah Kustak with it. At Corniseca Arena Campus of St. John's University. Queens, New York, Jamaica. Queens, to be specific. About 13 miles from Times Square. Zagorowski. Pure's one from the corner. Use his body, have the type of physicality and body control to be able to finish the contact. Almost a steal. Zagorowski in trouble. Cross court Mahoney swinging around. Into the corner. Zagorowski sets his feet. Three ball. Yes. Every time you think that. Shot and they don't get it. It's almost like a quick three and out in football, and you're back on defense. Absolutely. Zagorowski on the wing. What a pass from Mitch Ballock. And Zagorowski, such good shooters that you're reluctant to help. Zagorowski and Bishop, 10 of 13 for 24 of their points. Tim, this is the best Zagorowski's looked all year. Zagorowski again, 42-32, 17 points for Mr. Zagorowski. He's just so special with his ball handling and finish uh, skill set. It's just remarkable. See Ryan Cock runners in the game now for Brayton seven footer, but they go outside again. Why not keep going that way? If it's going to work, and another long ball for the Blues. Capable are they not of making a run in the month of March? Absolutely. And Marquette's lot of, lost a lot of close games. They've been right there. 
He's got to find a way to tighten it up, and I think D.J. Carton's the key to unlocking all of that. Zagorowski, his first three of the afternoon. And he's starting to look like that old Marcus Zagorowski. Pretty much back to full strength. 14 shot clock. Deep jack from outside, and he hits. 47 30. He's had a lot of different influences in that time. Greg McDermott, Tim Miles, Ray Giacoletti. Yeah. Some great basketball minds. Yeah, you mentioned Ben Jacobson. It's a, it's a real brotherhood between that group. They really have each other's backs. Zagorowski for two. And that's how the first half will end. Marcus Zagorowski with an exclamation point for Creighton. Quickly clears. Yeah, it was. Jefferson. Zagorowski with a little stop and go. Now they're running two at him as often as they possibly can, aren't they? They're a little teardrop, and he rattles it home. He is just a scoring machine. And did we not hear a little something else take place? More after the fact? Off the deck. Long shots, long-range jumpers, oftentimes are long rebounds, and Marquette's not done a good job getting the long ones. I think he's playing with purpose. He knows he was outplayed by D.J. Carton in the first meeting in Omaha. And you know how point guards can be, particularly if they're scoring point guards. Just whistle it over the rim. Here's Zagorowski. Screen comes. Into the paint. Floats it up and rolls through. Really took his time there. Stretched the double team and then was back in single coverage. His trip and go home feeling better about their big man and their re leading returning scorer from a season ago. And they'll feel that today. He's played well. Great players never play poorly two games in a row. Oh, Zagorowski. An acrobatic finish. For Marcus Zagorowski, the junior. In the interior, though, because you got shooters towing the arc. A lot of room for Gillespie to finish in the paint. Bishop rejected by Robinson Earl. Now a smaller defender on him. Justin Moore. Look at Zagorowski. Look at that. Goes reversal. Wow, amazing in Queens. Then in the second half, when they tried to mount a run, you could tell that the pressure of Mike Anderson's team got to his guards. Zagorowski with a quick burst for another layup, and it's 61 45. Now Villanova going man. It's hard to in transition run back to his zone, so man to man now for the Wildcats. Yeah, especially with the guys lighting him up from three. Zagorowski! Took advantage of the straight line drive. They were not going to be stopped, though. No. Sometimes you run into a buzzsaw, and that's kind of what happened for Nova today. Just ran into a team that was hot, motivated, and clicking on all cylinders. And just as Marquette didn't need to see Villanova when they did, yep. the next team on Villanova's schedule, that's that's not that's not a good opportunity for you. Zagorowski gets another one to go. Aiken has one of that one-two inside-outside combo, and it really hasn't happened at all until this game. And how about this? He's got a season high, 12 points, playing just six minutes so far. He's been super effective. That time, though, going to work on him is Zagorowski, who gets it to go.